If you're looking at buying one of the new all-in-one bridge cameras, you may be looking at the Canon SX50 with its super 50x zoom. Or you may be looking to future-proof yourself with the new 4K amazing video on the Lumix FZ1000. We're going to be looking at uh, bald eagles about uh, nearly 500 feet away. Both cameras are beside each other on tripods and uh, we will be using the full zoom capabilities of these cameras. The Lumix is a 16x optical zoom, uh, Leica. With, uh, we'll be doing the 4 times digital on top of that, which I found to be not too bad. It's not too pixely. The Canon has a superb, of course, 50x super zoom lens, uh, capturing video at 1080p, 24 frames per second. It's uh, got, it's got the Canon quality throughout, and it is a great, fast, easy zoom to use. If we look at both uh, expanded images together, the 50 times zoom is equivalent to about 1600 millimeter lens equivalent on the uh, Lumix with the 4 times uh, digital on top of the 16 times optical zoom. Not bad quality. You can see there hasn't been much image degradation in the Lumix with that expansion. Now if we go to the high K though, the 4K or the 3840p at 30 frames per second, uh, again with the 4 times digital and 16 times optical, you see it's a pretty nice image. One thing about this high density data is that it slows down quite nicely. So we've slowed it down in Final Cut Pro here at 50%. And uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice image. Here we are cropped right down tightly. You can see that it's uh, still holding itself together pretty nicely. So it's almost a substitute really for that Canon. And I would say it's pretty darn close. The Canon here uh, at its native resolution, you can see much more image sharpness with the little fishes swimming in the background. But, uh, you know, for a compromise, I'm pretty much sold. I think they go either way. The Lumix is twice the price. And those 4K file sizes are immense. They're four to six times the size of a 1080p file. And you might find that it's difficult to edit it on your computer because of just the raw size. And you'll be storing some pretty darn big files too. But uh, if you don't mind doing that, this is a way to future-proof yourself and almost get the equivalent of a, of a zoom lens like the Canon has. Thanks for watching.